Good morning, quick vid. This is about Dura Ace 9200, not my Hyper Motard 950, which is doesn't get ridden enough because I'm always cycling. This is where I work. And there's been a lot of videos about 9200. Um, I'm just gonna make this very short and sweet. Why it is such a disappointment. Um, the brakes, they really needed to knock it out of the park with the brakes. They've had so much criticism. The brakes just, they're not fantastic. They've had two years, three years to kind of sort it out, to make something a little bit revolutionary, something great. And what's happened, they haven't even bothered to make a Dura Race rotor that's just been ditched, which is a tacit admission that it was crap in the first place. And now they're just sticking on an XTR rotor. I mean, that's kind of just borrowing out of the parts bin. And the caliper has been redesigned a bit, but Okay, it's, it's more or less the same thing really. There's a kind of new uh, servo um, leverage system uh, that's supposed to improve a little bit the clearance and the feel, maybe. I mean, but uh, initial tests uh, show that the uh, you still get rub when the, when the disc gets hot. So all in all, I just really think uh, there's just nothing really to get excited about there. Um, it's not, not particularly brilliant. Um, the, the hoods are bigger and chunkier, not really my cup of tea. They don't look particularly nice. Um, I think that's not, not a great thing really. Less aero, a bit, bit more weight. Yeah, did I mention weight? Just about everything is, is heavier. The cassette, the rear derailleur, uh, the shifters. I mean, it's not really going the right direction. I mean, and then, yeah, price, you know, this is 4,400 euros. Um, you know, it's crazy. I mean, the rear derailleur alone is 900 euros. You know, you really don't want to crash on, on that because that's going to be an expensive day out. Uh, the crank is super expensive and yeah, Dura-Ace cranks have been disappointing for a quite a while now. And again, they could have done something funky with carbon or something new. It's basically a heavier version because they, they crack and, uh, and break. So they had to make it heavier than the last one. So it's just more expensive, heavier, and doesn't do anything particularly well. So steer clear of the crank set. Um, yeah, it's just uh, a little bit disappointing, really. I mean, the only... Uh, the good thing, the good what well, the, well, the good things? It shifts a bit faster, apparently. Okay, great. Um, we've now got 12 speed. I didn't particularly need it. Um, okay, an extra cog, it's nice to have. Um, but was it worth all the hassle, really? Um, and no, no new pedals either. Same, same old pedals. Uh, obviously, didn't want to change those. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, heavier, super expensive and absolutely nothing revolutionary. Although I do think the semi-wireless thing is the best way of doing it. That, that's a good move. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, really, it's just super disappointing.